Okay, everybody. How are y'all doing? Good to see you here. <laughs> We're back for day two of early access for um, Hogwarts Legacy. Should be a blast. Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. The cats had me running around last minute. They wanted pate, <laughs> but they have been fed. And we are about to hop in. I solved the issue on the controller. Apparently, when you're playing through Steam, if you're using a PS5 controller, just a heads up, if you use PS5 controller settings, um, it will, there we go, not let you use the main center button to pull up the map. You have to change it to generic controller settings. And that got it fixed. So, I'm gonna cross our fingers and hope it's still fixed because it took me like two hours of resetting this thing earlier to get it working. Now, I did look up because I wanted to um, transmog my gear. Um, apparently I was being silly and not noticing in the menu, in your gear, if you don't go and select the item first, so like if you select it here, it's not gonna show you. But on this menu, if you just hover, you can click square for change appearance. So pretty cool. Um, hey, it's Mikiel. Good to see you. Julia, Victoria, Billy. How are y'all doing today? Let me make sure I don't have the other music playing on here too. One sec. It likes to try to double up. We just have these two. We're good. Awesome. So I'm excited. We're going to um, get our broom today is the goal. And if we can get the room a requirement, Let's start the stream off right <laughs> and pet this adorable kitty cat. Um, how's your all's day been going so far? What a cute kitty. If you hear a bag crinkle over here while I was out running errands, I decided I was going to get that Taco Bell I was craving yesterday. So I've got a nice double chicken power bowl waiting for me in my Taco Bell bag. So let's pick out what quest um, we're working on first. And we're also going to read this owl post because at the end of last stream, it told us we had an owl post from Professor Fig. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the lock that we found at Gringotts. Okay, so we need to go see Professor Fig. And we have Professor Hecate's assignment. Wants to speak to me about um, learning Incidio. Incendio. So that should be fun. Hey, Ran, how are you doing? Ooh, two Whoppers? Congratulations, Billy. That's a tasty lunch. Tasty lunch. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we got this quest being tracked. Let's retrack it. Locate a map. Now we can actually get to our map easily, which is nice. It's there. And this is secrets of the restricted section, but we need to learn this first. So let's go do this, and then let's go talk to Professor Fig. And we can uh, just teleport right here, and that'll get us closer. Oh no, your cat clawed you? Ouch. I hope it's a tiny scratch. My cat um, likes to try to see, hell, there's a chest over there. Likes to try to stick its paw in my mouth while I'm sleeping, and sometimes I'll wake up and I'll have a scratch like on my lip. Ooh, that one's locked. We can't get in there. All good. All good. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was. For oh, there's also um, a camera setting that I was recommended to change, and it's supposed to make it feel more smooth when you're playing. Let me see if I can find it in here. We'll find it real quick. Ah, so change your camera acceleration to zero, but your camera sensitivity up to max. Supposedly it makes things more smooth, especially in combat. Kiana, hi, how are you doing? Welcome aboard, glad to have you here today. Am I going the wrong way? Yep, it wants me to go down. I would be going the wrong way. Yeah, I'm, I'm mega excited because I want to get the broom. And I want to get the room of requirement. I think it's going to be honestly quite exciting and, unlo and unlock a lot for us in the game. And sorry the stream ended up being so late. They were working on the internet. 
for a while it kept going up and down. We should be good. They're no longer out there working and it's up and running. So it'll be good. Also give me more time to feel better. Let's see. Now we're going up. Where on earth? I thought I teleported like right next to this thing. It's all good though. Hello. Didn't see that up there. I guess I gotta go up there. Have some matters to discuss. Maybe I have to do it here. Yep, I have to do it here. Now these are gonna be everywhere. Let's see. Um, Hybridian Black Skeleton. Large dragon skeleton that hangs in the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom is allegedly a trophy taken by Professor Hecate after she single-handedly defeated one of the largest poaching rings in Eastern Wales during the Great Poacher Raid of 1878. Oh, it's for that big one. Very cool. Okay, let's uh, get our learning on real quick. I'm here about the new spell you wanted to teach me, Professor. Good. Professor Fig indicated a certain urgency to you completing your defensive magic assignments. As such, you are to learn Incendio, the fire-making spell, handy for lighting torches, burning away spider webs, and, when necessary, defending against those who would wish to do us harm. Sounds versatile. Quite. But before we get started, I'd like you to complete a few tasks. Ooh, okay. You may be surprised by some of them. Astonishing oh, how nice. much what students house you don't get, think that professors know. When you're finished, come and see me. Then we shall begin working on Incendio. Okay. You know where to find me once you've finished. New quests available. Oops, my... I'm having to run the controller wired with the the way this setup is to get it to work properly. Let's see. She wants us to win two rounds of crossed wands. Okay, and we were on one. And we need to um, talk to Lucian Brattleby. But yeah, my controller is plugged in because when it's not plugged in, the map button will work on that setting, but my X button won't work. <laughs> but if I plug the controller in, all the buttons work. So um, I got a fix, it's just wonky. So we're gonna go do this one first. And we're gonna find where on earth on the map dude is. Let's go back now. I keep forgetting his name. Professor Fig. Where in the world is Professor Fig? Cross Wands Round 2 is there. I can never remember where Professor Fig's place is. Um, let's... see okay let's go back in like this and resume no okay it's kind of being a pain in the butt to let me see what I want to see I guess we'll just run over for this one and then we'll try to find Professor Figlore out Oh, hey, Hollies, how are you doing? Um, we literally just hopped in and we talked to Professor Hecate and she's sending us uh, to do some quests because we're going to be learning a new spell. And we're basically starting up Since right now. Crossed Wands isn't as secret as it's believed to be. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Oh yeah, each house has its own characteristics, um, but any number of type of people can be put into a specific house based on their quiz, Kiana. Hey, Britt, how are you doing? You caught up last night? Oh, awesome. It was a fun stream. Elias, hey, good to see you. How are you doing? I'm glad to have you here. Curious, because this is... I can pull my map now with the map button, which is way convenient. Um, but I was trying to find my, I don't have my, um, what I'm looking for. Let's try selecting there. Nope, we'll retrack it. In here. Let's do it this way. That should get us way closer. 
Ooh, while we're teleporting, I'm gonna take care of the paper crinkly bag from the Taco Bell. <laughs> so, sorry, it's gonna crinkle for a second. There you go. I decided today would be a treat day. So we have the lovely, lovely Taco Power Bowl. And a huge stack of napkins. Wow, that was nice of them. I always like it when they put enough napkins for like a full family in my Taco Bell bag. Because I'm a klutz. And I don't mean to be, but I need every single one of those suckers. Oh, yes, we explored all over. It was wild, but it was so much fun. So much fun. Honestly, Elias, I feel like I'm gonna... Like, if you do all the main quests and story quests and you don't really do a lot of other stuff, it's supposed to be between 75 and 100 hours. But if you do, like, decorating and you do crafting and all that stuff, and you explore everything, I think you'll be looking at a lot more time Ready than that. Round? I think so. We shall see who shows up. I'm trying to refresh my There's memory no on these spells. Be afraid to jewel. I know, Sebastian. I know. Okay. Okay, that's Akio. This is Leviosa. Leviosa. That's Reparo, and that's Lumos. And then, if it's a light tap with nothing, it's generic attack. Okay, I've got my plan of action. Let's talk to him. Cross our fingers, guys. Next round of cross wands. Here we go. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of cross? I would call him Lucian. Oops. Why? Yes, it is. I've got a great match lined Luke up. Lucan Brattleby. Ready for another my bad. round? Yes. Let's go for another round. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Um. Ooh. Let's go against um. Yes, Natty. Let's go against Natty. Guys, I'm excited. This should be fun. Ready to get thrashed. And heads up, this is going to be a longer stream if you don't have your snacks and water. Apologies in advance. I highly recommend snacks and water. Okay, break through violet shields with force spells. Uh-oh. Like the summoning charm Accio. Okay, we can use Accio. Target lock R3 lets you track enemies without aiming. Use R to change targets while locked. Okay. Uh oh. I want to target him. There we go. That's better. Oops, I did Lumos. That is not for combat. Oh no. Oh no, I'm just stuck. They got me. I need to stop accidentally pressing Lumos. There we go. Oh, tap down arrow to heal. Okay. I changed it to normal. Oh, we got defeated. <laughs> I lost. Okay, so it's harder on normal guys. Glad I didn't bet on you that round. Catch go again. E yes, but let's do no thank you first. I think I better rest for a bit. I wanted oh, to well. try normal mode first. We'll be when you're ready. I haven't seen his video yet, but I did see it post on Amazon, and I am thinking about ordering it. So let's do this. I am not ashamed to play uneasy <laughs> because that's a lot of people with shields. So let's go into, where is it at? I'm trying to remember where on earth it is in the settings. Is it on the main page up here? Nope. But I think what we'll do <laughs> is for now, we're gonna, for the combat here, so we're not using all of our potions, do the combat uneasy. <laughs> Because normal is, it's good for most things, but I think in the duels, we're just gonna go easy. Oh yeah, um, I like it just because it's a big book that'll look good on my shelf. That's the main reason I like it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm bad about this stuff. I'll get stuff and just put it on my shelf for it to look pretty. Okay, let's do crossed wands again. Hello, Lucan. Is the next round of crossed wands all set? 
Ah, yes, it is. I kind of wish I'd I picked a little bit of a different up. voice for my character, by the way, guys. Yourself? Every once in a while, she sounds kind of mechanical to me. I'm ready. Let's do it. Brilliant. Are you dueling with a partner? Definitely. I do the same normally, Billy. We're going to go against um, Natsy, um, yes, Natty again. Natty. Then let's get to it. Okay. So let's try this again. Take ready two. To get thrashed. Apparently. <laughs> Apparently. Apologies in advance. Oh, yeah. I just changed the setting, Holly. Just changed it. Okay. So we're going to try this again. I'm not going to accidentally Lumos in the middle. There we go. Triangle. Oh. Triangle. Oh, I lumosed again. There we go. Okay, we got one out. Okay. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Honestly, I think on the normal mode, we could have got it on the second try if I hadn't lumosed. <laughs> you did indeed. The other duelists have already taken notice of you. There but we go. After that last round, the other duelist really took notice of me because I changed it to easy setting. You'd better keep practicing if you want a chance at winning, <laughs> or at least surviving the next round. Practice is always good. Ready. Hope to see you then. Yep. The next round is for all the gobstones, so to Sorry, speak. crinkle paper, guys. Okay, that was good. Oh, what is this? Complete a round of spell combination practice. Oh, with him. Okay. So we're just going to talk to him again real quick. Hello, Lucan. May I use the training dummy? Of course. I'll fetch it and give you a list of combinations. It feels practice. like a movie to me, too. Ready to have a try it now? It gets more open world as you go and feels less movie like later, though. But it still is voiced out and everything. That would be wonderful. Be sure to cast all your spells before the dummy lands. My voice sounds so if funny. I wish I could change it. Before you finish all of them, let me know. It's all good. Maybe I'll settle out as we go. Okay. Cast Accio followed by four consecutive basic attacks. One, two, three, four. Okay. That's easy That's enough. It. Okay. Now it wants Leviosa. Leviosa. Followed by four consecutive basic attacks. Okay. Nice. Uh oh. Cats attack and stuff. Okay, Leviosa. Basic, basic, basic. Accio. Oh. That was Accio. Okay, Leviosa, Leviosa, basic, 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 Accio, basic, 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 basic. Okay. I'd say oh, that's good. enough practice. That counted. It's good out there. Thank you, Lucan. I say better to discover one's weaknesses during practice than during a duel. Yes, You'll be a very true. Challenger now. Okay, one check, guys. Assignment's all finished. I'm gonna get the cat real quick because they're doing something naughty. I'll be back in like one minute. I know we literally started, but one minute. I'll be right back.
Okay. We're good. The cat was trying to climb up a table to the hamster cage again. Because, oh my goodness. They're the biggest fan of that, you know. They treat it like hamster television, to be honest. So let's report back to Professor um, Hecate real quick. We can actually press the map button, which is so nice. It just feels wild to be able to. And we're going to teleport right there. Being able to teleport really helps so much. I don't think we're very far. I think I chose one that's pretty close. Is this her place? I went into the wrong room. We gotta go down the stairs. We're pretty close. Mm, tomorrow we are gonna do some more Hogwarts Legacy since it just came out. I'm not 100% sure on what time in the afternoon, um, but hopefully around like 1, 2, or 3 p.m. Eastern. And I hope you get to feel them better, um, Holly. Oh, nice. Very nice. I'll take 10 likes. Um, let's make a like goal real quick, guys. Um, I'm gonna make the like goal as, um, let's get to 20 likes. I'm gonna put a cute little emoji in here. Once my mouse comes back. There we go. Let's get to 20 likes. I'm going to pin this comment that I'm sending, guys. And once we get to 20 likes, what we'll do is we'll have uh, one of you all make the next like goal. So thank you guys so much for getting us to 10 likes. It's greatly, greatly appreciated. Um, now, the way this is set up for streaming, um, since I have it going on two monitors, I will, in general be able to kind of see <laughs> that stuff but to go over and pin it um sometimes it doesn't pop up and tell me when we get to get to the goal so let's get this quest turned in guys i really hope that we get our broom soon i want to fly that's my main goal for today if we get to fly that'll be so cool two stars on your island congrats holly <laughs> And I do hope you get to feeling better. Your pain sucks. And I am planning for this stream to be in between... <laughs> um, I know it's a wildly wide range of time, but between four to eight hours. <laughs> Depending on how much we get done and how quickly. I trust Mr. Brattleby was able to accommodate <clears throat> you and that you found success in your endeavors. Why, yes, Professor Hecate. I finished all of the tasks you gave me, Professor Hecate. Glad to hear it. I'm pretty sure she then must think I'm an android with how my voice insomnia. keeps doing. Should be, Professor. Yes. I'm sorry to say I visited enough careless colleagues at St. Mungo's to assure you <clears throat> that Fire is a fickle servant. Oh, Your yeah, for sure, Holly. Has impressed uh, me thus still far. normal Sunday market on Sunday. maintain focus. I would rather we not end today's lesson with your robes aflame. They are, Let Holly, they are. And remember, focus on the proper wand movement. Concentrate. Okay, so this is going to be... Steady. X square. X. X fire. We learned incendio. I know we're doing a lot of Hogwarts Legacy this week since it just came out, um, but we are still going to be doing Animal Crossing hard mode this week as well. So I've learned enough spells I need to equip Incendio to your spell set. You just need to swap it with a different spell. Okay. Good work. Now, I do want to get, because I know you can get a second set of basically this where you put your spells on that um, little diamond type thing. Let's see. So we need to um, first add to our spell set, hover over and hold R2 and cap the corresponding face button of where you'd like to place it. Ooh. I don't want to have to pull Lumos out all the time, but we I definitely want Accio and I really want Levio. I want all these on here. Um, I guess we don't use Reparo all that often, so let's put it there for now. Okay. So we're going to 
we took away the repair spell for now until we get a second set of this to put spells on. Okay. Ooh, we have a reward. Let's grab our reward real quick. And... Wait. Let's go through here and mark this um, to get these off of here, and then let's go into the collections. Where is this at? Well, I think I must have... There it is. We got that. Let's go in challenges. Let's go in quests and get this here from our reward. It should be... Um, Class scarf. Very nice. And um, I think I got distracted and didn't show you guys earlier. But if you hover over and you press to change appearance. So these are the gloves. Like, I can ch choose whichever ones I want them to look like. And you don't have to own them anymore. So long as you've owned the item at one point. So don't be afraid to sell your stuff. Um, or if you want no gloves, but my hands look cold now. So we'll put those ones on. And like this, we can go in here and I have this as like, I think this one is a pre-order of the deluxe edition one, but you can change it out. Um, or I really kind of also like this one. So we may change this out as we go and you can completely hide things too. So like right now my scarf's hidden, but we could put this scarf on if we want to be a little bit warmer, you know, but that lets you hide it. So definitely cool because you can make it look like anything you want to. Oh, definitely, Holly. Get to feeling better. Hey, Joe! How are you doing? I appreciate the support, and I also appreciate you not wanting to be spoiled. Happy lurking. Happy lurking. Naomi, hey, how are you doing? So, on the agenda, we are going to try to get our broom. <clears throat> I don't know if you guys saw the joke in the description. I said, dude, where's my broom? Kind of like, dude, where's my car? <laughs> um, if you get the joke, you get the joke. Um, but yeah, we're going to try to get our broom. And we're going to try to get the room of requirements. Hey, definitely. Enjoy the lurking. Enjoy the lurking. So now um, we've learned incendio. incendio. So we can light things on fire. And we need to go to Professor Fig's classroom. So now that we have this as being actively tracked, it's gonna make it way easier for me to find his classroom since I didn't remember where it was earlier. And uh, we're gonna click on there. And now we can teleport. Oh, thank you, Holly. When we get to um, this first one, I will definitely remember to pin that message. Definitely. So after we get this first light goal, Holly's got our second light goal set. Okay, here we go, guys. And I do agree on the setting for the camera, um, making it smoother for gameplay. So if you guys haven't changed that setting, I do recommend it. Revelio. Okay, nothing to Revelio in here. I like the spell names. It makes me think of Latin class from high school. Ah, there you are. It's weird that every time we come in here, it just like pulls us off to the ground, and I wonder if there's a reason for that. Cause it's kind of it's kind of weird. Hello, sir. You'll be pleased to know that I worked on my defensive magic with Professor Hecate. So I hear. She tells me you've taken rather well to your new wand. You must continue to work with her and your other professors to improve your skills. That said, I don't <laughs> wish to postpone our visit to the library any longer. So, shall we proceed? Okay. Fig, I have work for you. Come. Headmaster, I'm with a student and my schedule Your is... schedule will wait <laughs> indefinitely, as will your student. Professor I would Black. I think that after all the trouble you caused me with Osric, you'd be eager to make amends. My office. Five minutes. Oh, um, Holly, it's either... I can't remember if it's a pre-order jacket or if it's a deluxe edition. That man is exasperating. But it's part of the, um... Unfortunately, our trip to the restricted the design for that one. will have to wait a yeah. bit longer. But, Professor... We have no choice. It would be unwise to provoke our illustrious headmaster further. I shall find you when I've completed whatever toils I must endure. Okay, so we don't get to do that right now. Um, 
let's check out our quest log for a second. Because I want to see if this is all we have right now. What's in here? She's going to say no assignments, no side quest. We've done quite a bit of quest. So for now, let's go talk to Sebastian. And um, we'll go from there. I am curious. If he'll let me select in here. He's right there. So let's see if that gets us closer. Oh, thank you, Holly. I will try my darndest to get that broom. Okay, guys. Here we go. I'm honestly really, really, really liking this game. I think it wants us to go down. Sometimes I do find it a little bit hard to tell when it wants down or up, but if you look here in the floor, it has a down arrow. So that can help. Okay. Sebastian. Sebastian, there you are. I was hoping to see you. I was in the three broomsticks after the troll attack and saw what happened with Rookwood and Harlow. Not many students have Victor Rookwood's attention. What was that all about? It's to do with Ren Renrock. Or I'm, I'm not entirely certain. Let's say Renrock. Seems he's working with Renrock. And Renrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Ranrock. Sebastian does seem morally Professor questionable. Up there after the dragon attack. So I it's think we should be careful with him, but still, Big I think we can tell him. To Gringotts? I'm not sure I follow. I barely follow myself, and I was there. Anyway, we ended up in an ancient vault where we found a map. That map leads to the restricted section. You can't be serious. Deadly serious. Professor Fake has insisted that I not tell a soul about any of this. And I just told Sebastian. Much. Understood. Your I wasn't planning on saying me. that much, Jim. Whatever it is. Thank you, Sebastian. You mentioned being clever enough not to get caught in the restricted section. And I am. Meet me outside the library tonight. Oh. And tell no one. Nice. Okay, that's interesting, guys. Let's say, what about the library? How concerned should I be about the librarian? Madam Scribner doesn't take kindly to clandestine activities taking place amongst her precious books. So do all that you can to avoid her. She and I have had our entanglements, but I can hold my own against her. You may not be so lucky. Okay. Well, what if we're caught? What will happen if we're caught in the restricted section? Detention, no doubt. But a word of caution or two will help. For one, Avoid Peeves, the poltergeist. Aside from wanton destruction of property, he loves nothing more than telling on the likes of us. Okay. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll meet you later. I guess we're doing this thing. <laughs> hey, trash can man. How are you doing? How are you doing? Let me um hang tight, guys, one second. Trash Can Man's cool, and you guys should check out his YouTube channel. I'm going to send the link real quick. Hang tight. There we go. Oh, awesome. Always glad to. Always glad to. How's the shiny hunting been going? There we go. Let me pull my Streamlabs back to the forefront. It likes to disappear when I do that. So apparently we're doing Sebastian's quest, which I I know is part of the main story quest. It just makes me a little bit nervous. But let's see how this goes. Oh, and uh, Sunday market, I'm probably See aiming there. between 1, That's 2, or 3 p.m. Eastern Standard starting time, Julia. And those Depends on the Sunday. Would love nothing more I might do earlier and start them, at noon this so Sunday. Them see us. Understood? I can be because a lot of Let's big go. streamers keep starting All at 1 p.m. and then everyone's in the other streamer's you streams, know. you know? The disillusionment charm. Good for getting places you're not supposed to be. Ooh, disillusionment. And you'll appear as little more than a trick of the light. Just as long as you keep your distance like that. and stay quiet. You mean 
I'll actually be able to turn invisible. Something like that. It's not as foolproof as a cloak, but those are expensive. And spells, spells are free. Give it a try. Okay, we're learning disillusionment. That's exciting. Okay, I think I got it right. There we go. But yeah, we might aim for earlier this Sunday. Uh, like noon for the Animal Crossing one. We'll see. Okay. So you literally just walk around, but don't get too close and be quiet, I guess. So, I assume I need to go into my spell book. <laughs> Because it went over this earlier with us. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't want a Revelio. There we go. Disillusionment. So, let's find Disillusionment. There it is. Now we're gonna hold this to a sign. I guess... We really need a second thing here. But, um... We'll go ahead and just put this here for now. Because I imagine we might need Lumos. Huh. Okay, so literally I need to press where I want it assigned to. So let's assign it to the right for now. And we'll bring Lumos back. Not Lumos. Um, Leviosa back. It's kind of, uh, I know it's literally right there for the buttons, but it doesn't feel intuitive to me. Silent as a grave. Okay, so let's see how this goes. And we're sneaking into the library, guys. Nearby adversaries will sense in question mark, then investigate question mark with yellow. Being caught is exclamation mark. Okay, so being sensed is gray, yellow is suspicious, exclamation mark is caught. Good to know. They sensed us. Because I got too far that way. Now she's no longer sensing us. Okay. Okay. We made it past him. Okay. Definitely scary. I'm not one for sneaking in games. I'm normally one. Librarian's still here. Quick, behind the I'm normally one for brute forcing. <laughs> I'm not the most stealthy of anything in games. Damn. You told me the librarian would be gone by now. I said usually, but it'll still be all right. Do you see her desk behind me? Oh, you're the still working on shiny defense force? I hope you get it soon, no. trash can man. we're going to do. I'll create a distraction to draw her away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside of the restricted section. Well, definitely, Julia. Now, tomorrow's stream is going to be afternoon, uh, starting probably 1, 2, or 3 p.m. Eastern. But the Sunday Market Animal Crossing one will be at, like, hopefully noon or 1. So let's see. Create a distraction, draw away. You focus on getting the key. I'll meet you outside the restricted section. Okay, we'll go with good you idea. Distract, I get the key. <clears throat> Understood. Okay. I said I'd get you in, and I always keep my word. Trust me. Now, heads up, guys. I do not plan on doing the forbidden curses. I'm planning on trying to do this as a good Hufflepuff playthrough. But I'm thinking of doing a Dark Hufflepuff playthrough where we do. Is someone there? Is that oh. your weaves? I'm thinking of doing a Dark Hufflepuff playthrough where we do, like, all the dark choices. And the curses. 
Professor Black, my sister's been magic in the library. Someone's been sneaking to the restricted section, and Cressidia Bloom seems to think of the library as her own personal arena in which to practice her latest incantations. It is most disruptive. One might consider Peeves tame by comparison to such antics. Okay. Best Shoot. Is no place for oh, about. no. Out at once. Oh, no. She caught us. Let's try again. I thought she was, he had her distracted. I didn't realize she's coming right back there. Okay. Hey, enjoy lurking. Okay. What's up with his distracting? Is someone there? Is that you, Peeves? Just gonna walk around that corner. It's fading now. <laughs> we need to go in here quick. Because she's gonna come back. Got the library key. Ooh. Which way she's gonna path? I think she's gonna go back that way. I hope she's gonna go back that way. Now she's turned this way. Now she's facing this way. I don't think she sees us. Okay, we're good. That wasn't so difficult after all. Now, to find that book. Okay. Hooey. I wonder if we can get away with casting other spells while we're in here. Oh, that one's charm to look more useful than it is. Okay. It's fooled me twice. Interesting. Home by its cover, I say. Okay. Okay, here we go. Can't interact with that. Okay. Okay, guys, here we go. <clears throat> Use basic casts while undetected to lure authority figures and enemies to a desired location. Oh, okay. Aim mode L2. Grants precision spell targeting and reveals additional spell targets. L2. Okay. Ghost. That's the Crash Rassi. Course. Okay. I wonder where we're supposed to be sending him. Maybe over there? Oh, I literally did the wall right next to me. That's not good. I made it worse. So the ghosts like to tell on us. How am I going to get her to go away from that area? She's going to walk that way. As she's walking that way around the corner, I need to come in here. Get down this way. Send her over there. I think she's gonna see me. I'm 
look at that arch. The skeleton on a Pegasus. On a Thestral, sorry. Ah, oh, shoot. Go over there. Come on. She is not wanting to go. Oh, that was right at me. Hit the armor. Surely no one's wandering about here at this hour. That works. I hit the armor. There's two of them over here now. I don't know if they're both being distracted or not. <clears throat> Interesting. That makes sense for the armor. But I kind of thought we would try to patrol them out away from in here. Okay, that works. Thank you for the idea. I feel like the painting's watching me. In the clear now. No you got your downloaded, but you can't play till Friday? Oh, rough. A job and all. I hope you, a Friday comes quickly for you. So what is it you've been looking for? I'm looking for a cure I can open the chest with the eyes on them now? Oh, good, Naomi. So awesome, thank you. I'm excited for that. Because Merlin knows everyone else is Yes, it's giving me anxiety playing it. I think you'll find a cure in the restricted section. I wonder if I can do Does this. Does the Hogwarts matron have nothing that can help them? I can. Mm. Nice. Enchanted books. Best to avoid these books if possible. Um, do not as uh, do not as much to their tendency to fly from one's hands as to their content being spectacular drivel of no educational value whatsoever. Okay, good to know. But I can research on my own. No need to concern yourself with that right now. Let's focus on what you're off. Seafoam nightwear. Which is what? How fancy. Precisely. I'll know it when I see it. You're being awfully cryptic. Okay, we're almost to it. Avelia. I'm gonna grab this. Ch oh, so what do we use to open that chest before it sees us? Well, that didn't do it. Because, huh, I'm not sure what we used to actually, do we just run in to the chest and open it real quick? Because he definitely sees us. Oh, we just open it. It gives us 500 money. So he still, he sees us, but we just open it. Secrets of the darkest arts. I'm impressed. Okay. That's cool. We literally just can open those now. 500 money is going to add up. There's a lot of those chests around. Just walk up invisible. Nice. Oh, yeah. That is really late. You'd have to change your whole sleep schedule for that. He sees a trick of the light and not me. This... Uh, needs us to change our spell out real quick. We're gonna collect that and we're gonna change our spell back in case we need it. Okay, I'm getting more the hang of changing the spells out. <laughs> It'll be great when we can have the bar. The second one. Ooh, a new wand handle. Who have we here? No. Sebastian Solo and his new little friend. Okay. Out exploring where they shouldn't be. Naughty, naughty. Peeves, don't come on. Get caughty. Peeves, don't you. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. I'm going to tell. Peeves. That's just rude, Peeves. Oh, blasted peeves. I've got to stop him or at least get to the librarian with a good excuse okay. for all of this. Wait, I don't want you getting into trouble for me. 
I have a way with the faculty when it comes to disciplinary matters. Okay. Besides, I like having friends who are in my desk. Also, hi, Laurie. I don't think now I said go. hi. <laughs> Good luck in your search. Talked all about the game, but didn't say hi. Now, where has that damned my bad. poltergeist got to? I know just the spell to repair this armor. Oh, shoot. Let's put repair on here now. Well, where'd it go? There we go. Okay, and let's put this back on here. Lordy Lou, swapping our spells out. We're gonna need to get a talent tree point soon. Okay. Interesting that it leaves us all on our lonesome doing this. Our character is uh, apparently gutsy. I for sure am not. Okay, those aren't breakable. Well, look at this. There's a chest on this side, so let's uh, veer towards this way. See if we can of maybe course. grab that. Traces of ancient magic. There must be more to this room. I guess we're investigating. Oh, hello. Hello, let's grab that chest real quick first. A fedora. Okay, let's go through, guys. Why, hello. I have a feeling we can get away without sneaking down here. But to be safe, I'm going to leave our sneak on. <laughs> oh, there's a chest right there. So is that an eyeball chest or another? It's a regular, not eyeball chest. This should have something good in it, though. Brown Eye of Newt goggles. Okay. Let's go and uh, put those on real quick if they're a higher item, um, higher stats. So let's see what the stats are on those. I guess they're an appearance, maybe. Oh, wait, no, eyewear. Duh. I went into the hats. Those have 30, so we're going to put those on. Um, they're interesting looking, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and just change our appearance. And we could either maybe have some glasses on. Or we could go with the look. Oh, yeah. Um, that could definitely be a thing. Let's just go with none for now, so we don't have to think about it too much. Here we go. What might this need? The Athenaeum. There we go. Oh, we don't have to sneak anymore? Nice. Good to know, Naomi. I appreciate it. Because if I don't have to sneak anymore, I don't want to sneak anymore. But I do not want to get caught. Okay. Secret of the Antechamber. I wonder what spell that needs. I need to wake up that room. Lumos. Oh, no sneak. What? I wonder what spell. I don't think it would have me come in here if I didn't have the proper spell for it. I wonder if I can hit the rune with a spell. Hey, there we go. I just want a basic attack. Well, that's good to know. Revelio. We're gonna have to fight those, aren't we? Not surprising. Guards at the ready. Nice. So when we're near the ancient magic, we can use it. Let's take our sneak off of here. And let's put Leviosa back. Because I like using it. In combat. Oh, we could have picked that up and thrown it? Is there someone alive still? Okay, there was. Um, hello. Definitely still alive. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. I did not see those two. Okay. Your gift of ancient magic accumulates by successfully attacking or taking damage. Successfully 10 plus hit combos, um, successful 10 plus hit combos will begin generating ancient magic power-ups. Collecting these will greatly fill your ancient magic meter and recover a small amount of health. Okay. When at least one segment of your ancient magic, okay, I see the combo bar, meter is full, you can cast devastating ancient magic attacks and deal massive damage and break shield charms. L1 and R1 when you see that over their heads. Okay, definitely okay. useful. Good to know. So basically, they were just standing there on the side and I didn't see them. Now there are chests and stuff in here that I can see. Oh, hello. Okay. Okay. Oh, neat. So that's how we fill up the bar. We go pick it up. So... Something. But how? How do we get over there? I don't see anything to hit above it, like on that one. We can definitely hit this thing. And that'll pull that out. Maybe do we cast Levios on this? Leviosa. Or maybe can we move this over with Accio? Yes. No? Hey Doge, how are you doing? Good to see you. Um, we're working on getting the fire spell, and, um, we're gonna go into the restriction section with Professor Fig, but he got pulled away by Headmaster Black, and, um, Lumos. now we're down in this, uh, restricted section of the library because of, uh, oh, oh I jumped off the edge, <laughs> because of Sebastian. Uh, thank goodness there's no fall damage, right? Oh, this just goes across. I'm a dork. Okay. But Sebastian got us into the restriction section of the library. We got some forest rivet gloves. This is very interesting, and I do not trust this. <laughs> and so, yeah, that's what we're doing. And we're trying to get our broom today and access to the... No, not again. <laughs> I almost went off the edge. I was so not trying to roll. And we're trying to get access to the rumor requirement. There we go. That's going to bring us across here. Is there something on this side? I don't see anything on this side. There. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> okay. So I need to move faster. <laughs> I just don't trust that thing. Run, run, run. With good reason. No. <laughs> okay. We're going to make it across this thing. Luckily, there's not like fall damage or real death, apparently. Oh my goodness. From this side. No. How do I get it to come from this side? Do it again, maybe? Okay, come from this side. It comes from that side. Room on the higher? Wait. Sorry, what do you mean? Because I'm only seeing that one to go across, right? There's something down here. What is down there? That's interesting. Maybe I do need to go over here for something? Is this connected in here? Am I just being dumb? Oh, the room of the requirement or the, the broom? Sorry. Let's go back over here. So we can come here, that doesn't do us any good. How on 
on earth do I get across that one, though? Maybe? I think we're gonna have to sprint. Let's try that and see if I die again. Sprint and jump, I guess. Okay, sprint and jump. <laughs> okay, there we go. Because that was problematic. This must be the way forward. Hey, Lady New, how are you doing? There, how are you doing? Good to see you. Oh, the room? Yeah, um... I don't know. Do we have to have a quest to get to the requirement? Or do we? can we just go? Rebellion. Because if we can just go, I'll just go to it. I know we have to progress our quest to unlock the broom, but I wasn't sure on the rumor requirement. Well, that's not far enough. Maybe we hit it again? What happens when we hit it again? Okay, yeah. there we go. Let's keep my wits about me. Ooh. Mildly scary. Hello, combat. Oh, that was a hard choice. That was a hard choice, is Mikiel. I'm sure you'll figure out what you want. I think just think of what's going to look good with different handles, maybe. Okay. Oops. Okay, who's coming for me first? Triangle. Oops, I lumost again. Okay, nice. Oh, there he is. I need to move Lumos. I triangled, but apparently my timing was off. Oh, the circle on the ground is broadcast. Okay. down. Uh, now that I know that that's a broadcast and not something that's gonna pop up as a triangle, I think we can avoid those a bit better. Rebellion. It is a book after all. It is a book. Okay, Spiral Realm looks cool, definitely, and I'm not sure on the handles. Uh, honestly, maybe Google what it looks like with different handles and see, because that way you aren't guessing, you know? I wonder what's going on. Oh, 
they're filling the well for them. Well, they're making it like springtime. So I guess they're fixing a drought. <clears throat> Whatever it is, it's impressive. Ooh, Naomi, I bet that will look pretty. I kind of wish I had done the pink wood one. But I'm okay with mine. <clears throat> Interesting. I wonder what the backstory to that, to that is. Wanted to see me, Headmistress Fitzgerald, Professor Rackham. Miss Isadora Morganach, welcome. Professor Rookwood, Professor Bacar. We understand that you are adjusting well to life at Hogwarts. I am. I am glad, especially in light of your unusual situation, starting as a fifth year. As it happens, I was also admitted to Hogwarts as a fifth year. I've never heard of another like us. Miss Morganock, when we spoke yesterday after class, you asked about the beautiful swirls you saw years ago when we visited your hamlet. I recognized you all immediately. I cannot thank you enough for what you did. We were glad to help. And yes, I did see swirls of magic Very interesting. everywhere that day. My father insists it was my imagination running wild, but it was certainly real to me. It was not your imagination. Percival, Professor Rackham can see them too, but we have never known of another who could. I don't understand. What are they? The whispers or traces that appear when a particular form of ancient magic is wielded. Ancient magic? Few are capable of wielding it. Hogwarts itself is a stronghold of ancient magic. So if I can see traces of ancient magic, does that mean I can wield it too? With oh, the interesting. Training. But let us not get ahead of ourselves, Miss Morganok. Before I can train you to wield such magic, you must first master all that Hogwarts has to offer. Okay. So we've been using magic ancient powerful, magic willy-nilly. It must be wielded by a select few. Such we ask that you not speak to anyone about what we have discussed here today. Okay. Interesting. I wonder if she's good. There's a whole lot of info. Sebastian. My character's walking around looking like a pirate. <laughs> Sneaking in the restricted section again! I had thought we were through with this mischief. Clearly, detentions are insufficient. I'm afraid I must take this to the headmaster. But that being said, Peeves informs me that you didn't come alone tonight. If someone has coerced you, I would have you tell me. Oh. <laughs> You're a bright boy. Don't waste this. There was nobody else. I came alone. Oh, Sebastian. <clears throat> what will your uncle say? <clears throat> He's morally questionable based it up for us, so there is that. Okay. We're level 12, and um, I imagine we should get out of the library. Question mark, question mark, question mark. So we're just going to leave here and see what happens, I guess. Let's just try walking out of here. Okay, everything looks back to normal, like we don't have to be sneaking. 
Return to Professor Fig's classroom. Okay. Now it's gonna give us something on the map. So we'll go ahead and just teleport over. And let's get back to Professor Fig. Cause whoo wee. Not a fan of sneaking, but it looks like it's not too bad for this game. Avelio. How we Leviosa this thing? Leviosa. But apparently that doesn't want Leviosa. We're gonna wait here. Oi, can you help me? I still don't know why. It does that. I guess we have to be at a certain time. Hello. Why are you calling me? I was, yes. Thought perhaps a fellow Hufflepuff might have the perseverance to join me in a bit of an adventure. One more like to go. Map, to be precise, nice, y'all are amazing. Slight respite from battling the odd troll, I should think. Asked Poppy if she'd be interested <clears throat> as well, but couldn't drag her away from her puff skein. I found two maps lying about, both leading to locations around Hogwarts. Care to have a look at one? Um, sure. Following a Hogwarts treasure map. Count me in. Wonderful. Hogwarts fascinates me. You can keep whatever treasure lies at the end of your map. I'll be satisfied just knowing where it leads. Where do you suggest I search first? Hmm. Based on a cursory review of your map, I'd suggest somewhere near Hecate's classroom. Very well. I shall take a look if I can find the time. Fair enough. Meet me back here if you find anything. Very nice. We picked up a side quest. Okay, so this skeleton near the stairs, this is a fallen tree next to a house of some sort, and there's a circle at this door in this little area near a dragon statue. That's interesting. Okay, um... Let me do one thing, because it's popping up weird on the stream over here. I just want to fix something. There we go. Okay, that's perfect. And let's hop in here. Homes and tribulations. We're gonna do that before we do the side quest. I wanna focus on our main quests. And we can always work on his quest as we go. Let's glance in here real quick. Okay. Down the stairs we go. Down the stairs we go. I think we did get some gloves in there. So let's check out that situation as well, because we want to make sure we have our best gear equipped. Because the higher item level gear um, you have in your slots, the better gear is generated from the chest, apparently. So we want to make sure and always have our best gear on. So those are offense seven. These are woohoo! Offense 26. We're going to put those on. And we're going to go ahead and make them look like our original gloves that we were wearing. And let's see what we got in here. That's 24, 5, 19. So the 24 is an improvement. And since we aren't um, applying trait slots yet, it doesn't matter what the trait slot is. Just go with the best offense at the moment. So we'll put that on and we will make it look like our other robe. And let's see what we got in here. The PJs are 22, or we can have 20. So we should um, equip these, those lovely PJs. Those are actually kind of cute. We could wear those with a different jacket or something, but for now we'll change the appearance to be the undercoat. And let's see what we got in here. Cause we got a few things actually. So this is 15, 21, but no trait, but we don't have a trait equip or the ability to do it yet. We'll just go with the highest one, which is the fedora, the 21 defense. And I'm not gonna sell this one because it does have a trait slot. So if we get something, 
Um, we'll hold on to that for now, but we're gonna hide the way that looks at least. We're gonna change that to just not be a hat. And let's check that new handle out we got. We got a lot of stuff actually. Oh, that kind of actually looks really cool with my wand right now. Cause it's the same wood. Or we have that purple one, or we have this. Let's go with this. It looks like we just have a really fancy wood wand at that point. Okay. That was exciting. And let's go um, talk to Professor Fig. Do you guys think Professor Fig's sketchy? Because I kind of do. Wait. Rebellion. It says there's a treasure chest. Where on earth is his treasure chest? Return to the quest area. Okay. I guess we're not searching for that treasure chest. It just it says there's one, so I want to know where it is. I haven't seen that message before. You cannot be serious. Goblins working with rookwood makes no sense. It is rather unorthodox, to say the least. Unorthodox? <clears throat> It's inconceivable. It's... Ah, Fig. You have a visitor. I'll see what I can find out. Hmm. Professor Sir, Sharp. I was able to search the restricted section while you were with Professor Black. It was a book we were after. Okay. What? That's... I think they Wait. both are a little bit, yeah. You accessed the restricted section? But how? Thinking on it, perhaps it's best you spare me the details. Fair enough. I think In there's fact, something the up with Fig, though. Below the restricted section, as it appeared on the map. I want to hear everything. First, let's have a look. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Some of these pages seem to be missing. It appears someone has got to the book before us. Still, I will need time to study what remains. Perhaps we can still salvage something useful, though it may take some time. I wonder why it was here, below Hogwarts. I think I know, sir. I saw two more memories where I found the book. Another pensive, Godric's heart. The man we saw before, Percival Rackham, was a professor here. The first memory showed him and three other professors using ancient magic to restore a hamlet from a drought. Miriam was right. And the second memory? In the second, they were talking to a student who started as a fifth year, like I did. She could see traces of magic, too. Why those memories? Hmm. Perhaps this book will explain. Now I'll have to take it with me to London. The headmaster has insisted that I speak directly to the minister about George's death. Mm. What will you tell them about Mr. Osric's death? I don't know how much I dare say. George tried to convince the ministry about Ranrock, but to no avail. My instinct is to follow the path we are on for the moment and keep the details to ourselves until we know more. Okay. <clears throat> I understand. I'll see what I can learn about the missing pages while you're gone. Good. Don't neglect your studies. Your wand work is improving by the day. But you'll want to pay attention in herbology and potions. There's more to magic than spell casting. Plenty to keep me occupied while you're gone. You've done exceptionally well. I look forward to seeing all that you've accomplished when I return. Oh, and don't neglect your friends. You may be surprised by how much you can learn from them as well. Okay. Another treasure chest in here. Oh, it's already opened. Okay. So let's knock over the stuff in his office, apparently. And we got mail. It's time to prove your dueling metal and see if we've a new school champion. Maybe oh. at the usual place for the final round of crossed ones. Dueling, also, okay. The training dummy is still available. 
Meet me in Lower Hogsfield as soon as possible. I would like to talk to you about Rookwood and Harlow, and it might be best to do so outside of the castle. Okay. Nadia sent you an owl post requesting to meet her in Laura Hogsfield, a hamlet. In the world map, okay. This is the world map. Most of the map is covered by fog, limiting what you can see. Hamlets are small communities throughout the world. This is the hamlet, Lower Hogsfield. Hamlets provide new opportunities for vendors, flu flames, side quests, and collectibles. Okay. And there's three collection chests and a demiguise statue. Good to know. As you explore, you'll remove fog and reveal more of the map, unveiling new opportunities like Hamlet's dungeons, bandit camps, and many other locations. Professor Fig and Weasley have asked that I teach you an additional defensive spell. Please complete the assignments I have given you, and then proceed to see me in my classroom. Okay. Three letters. That's a, that's a whole lot, guys. So let's check out the situation, and let's hop in here real quick. See if there's anything else we can do in here yet. I don't think there is. That's completed, actually. We'll grab that. Okay, we're making good progress there. And this is a locked challenge. We can't get talents yet. I'm hoping by doing our main quest, we'll unlock talents. Because talents, um, there's a talent I want to get to where we can move between these spells more easily. So, let's go into the quest. Um, let's go to Herbology class first. And then let's go to Natty's quest and work on Professor Hackett's assignment. Avoid enemy attacks. Let's see. Okay, she wants me to cast Incendio and avoid enemy attacks with dodge rolling, and we'll get Expelliarmus, which would be good. So we're going to naturally do that. I wish I could track more than one quest at a time, yeah? So Herbology class it is, I think. And um, you guys have mentioned rumor requirements. We don't have to have a quest done like that, or can we just go to the rumor requirement? Because I wasn't sure how to get there. Because I would love to go to the rumor requirement if we can. Let's see, I'm going to search Hogwarts Legacy rumor requirement. <laughs> Progress to the story until you complete the first of the ancient trials. Let's see, what else does it say? You'll get a quest from Professor Weasley to meet in the astronomy tower. Okay. And then we have to go through until we find the house elf Deke. Okay, so we need to progress main story, and we'll get a quest to meet Weasley in the Astronomy Tower. And it says, go through the level until you meet the House Elf Deke. Because I don't think we've done Weasley's quest for the Astronomy Tower yet, have we, guys? So I guess um, these two quests, but let's double check the map to make sure I'm not bonkers. So Astronomy Tower... There's the astronomy wing. In the astronomy wing. We haven't gone up there yet. So let's wander up there and check that out. And then let's go to the herbology class, yeah? Because I want to unlock that waypoint anyways. And we might as well wander our way up there. And we could get a bit closer, I think. Well, we're basically right there. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna go over there. And we're gonna see how this goes. There's so much to do when you get to that point. When should it matter what anyone looks like? Now it's telling me, um, I don't think it's tracking the waypoint that I had set. 
I think it's just saying, hey, go to herbology qu uh, class, but I want to attract my own waypoint. So let's make sure my waypoint is set real quick, because I would rather go to my waypoint first. Okay, I guess it is tracking it. It's like tracking them both. Mine is this way. Look at that. I did 26 hours of homework classes, and then the werewolves joined the goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, werewolves. Okay. I'm gonna see if this is taking me where. Whoa! Hello. Let me answer. I got the field guide page. And then we're gonna go to class. Rebellion. I hear something dinging. Look at that. Ooh, there's something here. Field guide page. Tapestry of Barnabas the Barmy. This tapestry depicts the wizard Barnabas the Barmy's foolish attempt to train trolls for the ballet. One can only imagine the impact of the arts had um, on the arts had he succeeded. That's cute. Okay, let's run up here. Off on another adventure, are we? We have the flu flames now, so that's good. Before we go up there, let's check out in here. Ooh. <clears throat> my dear Satyavati, you'd be pleased to hear that I received word from my contacts at Cambridge who concede that they had in fact been incorrect in their understanding of meteor showers. It seems that an Irish um, astronomer and a British astronomer both built upon the work done by an Italian astronomer, <laughs> all muggles mind you as far as I know, to propose calculating the position of the dust at Earth's orbit as means of connecting meteor comets. Brilliant, really. One can only imagine what they might do with an enchanted telescope. Frustratingly, in my correspondence, I did feel that I had to continue using the pseudonym for my days as a gentleman scholar. Whilst I still find it rather exciting to have a secret identity, the reason irks me. I'm so looking forward to our trip later this year to Jantar Mantar. <laughs> what an adventure we shall have. I miss you, dear sister. I hope you are well. With love, Sukrita. Interesting. Now, how do I... What's this? How do I... I don't know how to do this yet. I saw people with like a key that flies to it and they like smack it or something. But where on earth is the key? Lumos. Because I don't necessarily Rebellion. see it. Maybe it's something I have to unlock. Potato. Oh yeah, I'm I'm leveling. I'm 11, I'm level 12. Not bad for, I guess, seven and a half hours in, right? If you guys know how to do that key thing, because I don't know where we find the key to do the key thing, because I don't see it. Do you guys? Um, maybe it's that other spell? No, that's the sneak spell. That's Lumos. I don't think I have anything that does that. Yeah. I don't know. We got the teleport point up here, which I wanted to. We're just running by everyone speaking to us. Let's see what's up here, because we haven't explored this way yet. Oh, there's one of these. Lumos. That's a lookout point with a telescope. I'm imagining it's gonna be up here, right? Let's try that. Well, I don't think it's this one, but look, there's an owl. We got quite the view. Where's it at? There it is. Come with me, little one. We'll take you back to your mirror. 
There we go, there we go. There's so much to explore in this game, guys. It's absolutely wild. I have horrible aim. There we go. We got another one of these. I'll take that, thank you. Now let's loom us over this way. There's a chest. Chamber like in the movie where the keys are. Oh, do you mean like legit like chamber of secrets type chamber? And I don't know. <laughs> Let's look at this view though. That's wild. Arbitrary cogs on the telescope are nice. Rebellion. I don't see anything up here, but look at that telescope. Okay, I guess we should go to herbology class now because we got the teleport port, uh, point over here. Yep, yeah, there's nothing else. So off to herbology class. Oh, definitely. I'm stoked and I think you're going to have a blast. We don't have that teleport point yet, which we need to get. We also don't have this one, which I'd like to grab. And we need to grab that one. So let's kind of go in between and go here to um, the central hall. And we'll run over there and grab both those teleport points. So that'll be good. Honestly, it's such a beautifully done game. And the combat's good. The extra bonus stuff you can do is all very well done. Like, they've just done a good job. Let's make sure I'm going the right direction since we want to get both of those points. We're going to set this one as an active waypoint first. And we're going to run there. Let's say it's over this way. When you have a main quest tracked, it's kind of problematic. Let me try this a different way. Let me try untracking our main quest and just tracking our waypoint. Because I just want to have it leading me to one thing. That's better. Now it's not trying to lead me to the main quest over the waypoint first. Because I want to make sure I have all the waypoints just to make our life easier. Handy there we go. Much better. And let's track this one as a waypoint first. I know we'll come on to it going that way, but we might as well. Oh, right back in. I'm so used to switch controls um, from where I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing lately. And I think we're just gonna be best off to run there. So yeah, we'll just run on over. And we're gonna go over to get the greenhouse's waypoint and do herbology class. I've no doubt I'm actually quite excited. What's up here? Quite excited. We can light this now, maybe, right? Incendio. Yeah, okay. I like how as you get spells, you can do more things, you know? Because they're kind of hidden behind spells. Oh, okay. And I like how you can overhear conversations. Pavilion. I could, I could, I would have thought there would be a, one of the papers there. No. Here's our waypoint. I've always said that travel. Nice. Look at how beautiful it is in here. Okay, time to go to herbology class, guys. Ooh, hello. Now, before we go in, we got some Dittany leaves. Before we go into the class, I'm going to go adjust my heater real quick because it got really cold in here really fast. <clears throat> Maybe they might. Um, but hang tight. I'll be back in like literally 30 seconds. Um, grab some water if y'all need to because water is good for staying hydrated. And I'm going to turn the heater up because I am freezing, freezing, freezing.
Okay, I'm back. Just fixing the headset. Sorry, guys, that took a second. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, definitely a beautiful view in here, huh, Doge? So, uh, I got the heater turned up, but my thermostat, when I tried to turn the heat up, jumped from 68 to 99 and it wouldn't change, so I had to take the battery out of my thermostat. But it's working now. It went back. I set it to like 72. We'll see if that helps. Because it's cold. Into herbology class we go. Look how beautiful this is. Ravenia. Before we start this, let's kind of explore. Because I saw something down here. I don't know what it was. A lock. <clears throat> I saw a lock down here. We can gather that out there real quick. Let's go gather some of these things and then start the class. Because I'm a sucker for gatherables. That's gatherable. That's gatherable. Only nine people, yeah. I think that maybe the, oh, hello, I can swim. The later watch time uh, was not uh, necessarily something people were prepared for. It's okay though. Hopefully more people will show up. We'll see. The places where I normally share the Animal Crossing streams, oh, hello are not um, necessarily places where I'd share a Harry Potter stream, you know? But we'll see. And it's okay. Honestly, I'm just excited because we have a lot going on in this stream today. Good old 500 money, we'll take that. We'll take that all day long. And let's go ahead and put our spell back. Good old Levioso. I wonder if, because there, there's Leviosa and there's Levioso, I wonder what the difference is and why. Okay, here we go, guys. Time to do Herbology class. This should be fun. Oh, yes, and enjoy your lurk, Patrick. Enjoy your lurk. I'm glad you're here. Good morning, Professor Garlic. How wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora, Ooh. dear. I oh, like her here. name. You'll need these for today's class. Uh, garlic uh, is one of my favorite uh, things in real uh, life. I love the garlic. They get a job on her character. Hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. <laughs> How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in herbology is knowledge. The okay. present herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacula than the bouncing ball. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the mandrake. Mellifluous. Accio. I like that word. Let's see if we can't make also, our Oliver, friends a bit thank more you for the luck. How are you doing? We? First, let's protect our ears. Ooh. You guys know what's coming. Now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils. This is such a cute a nod to the movies. Tug. Be prepared, it's gonna be loud. We go. It wanted us to press down on the button. <laughs> Is it really Levioso versus Leviosa? Lurking and multitasking. Oh, that's like fun. Warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right like a you. warm, dirty blanket. Wow, that's a that's a vibe. Repair. <laughs> 
I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. Aww. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. I'm trying now, to think of who she reminds me of. We'll be planting dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new Ooh. student. There's a show that's about these people who write injustices of basically crimes that are done that can't be handled by law, but they do it through nefarious means. I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically this team of people who go and they correct things that couldn't otherwise be corrected and they do good, but through not legal ways. She reminds me of one of the characters from that show in the I face. Like Who we can collect. Let's gather real quick. Because we'll definitely take these. <laughs> What does it want us to do here? It lights up. Lumos. Not Accio. Incendio. You probably shouldn't have set that on fire. Okay, I don't know what that wants us to do with it. Okay, let's talk to Professor Garlic. Yes, Professor. Hey, enjoy your supper, Perfect. Julia. Well, Definitely. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. <laughs> we'll go with I enjoyed it. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Picked them up in Hogsmeade. You've visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Her whole look is so Wasn't adorable. Easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they okay. will take time to grow. Let's see. We're gonna How plant our seeds real quick. Start this little arrangement. Nifla's fancy. <clears throat> the it's pot we set on fire earlier. Make it a vital Ooh, we unlocked a potting table. Potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Okay. The leaves of this medicinal herb are used in Wiganweld potion. Dittany seeds can be purchased at the Magic Neep and grown in pots of any size. Yield five takes ten minutes. And you can boost the yield with fertilizer. Okay. <clears throat> Done. Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora. The okay. Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Dear, dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other group. Okay. House. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Okay. That sounds fun. Let's find our classmate. There he is. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Okay. Nice work in defense against the dark arts. Who we can gather these? Me? Your jewel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. But you outright slaughtered him. We're going really? thieving, guys. Oh, well, thank you. I nearly put some in this place myself. I mean, I would have if had a dark herbologist hat. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. Oh. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Very nice. Grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I mind my fingers. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. We're gonna go ahead and grab everything we can. I know you said a few, but we're gonna grab them all. Attack the target with a chomping cabbage. Okay. 
Hold L1 and tap R to open the tool wheel and assign the Chinese chomping cabbage. So we've equipped it to L1. Look at that. Okay. They'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden. So now we can use cabbages on L1. <laughs> Did say so we now have loading. the cabbage attack. Daffodils in tatters. <laughs> okay. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have Booba tubers. I said it right. Uh, not saying you okay. can't do it alone. But, well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. <laughs> it's chaos out there. Trolls and hogs oh, cabbage. And such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and death cap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Okay. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. Okay. Let's um. Rebellion. Just double check and make sure we gathered everything, because I'm a sucker for gathering. Like, if you gave me a game that was literally just based on gathering, I would I would play it. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the door. Everything's so green in this area. I like it, but sometimes the doors look like walls. Back to class we go. We did herbology class, guys. As to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves. Five minutes but left. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. Ooh, we can go gather over there. There we go. We got some more Dittany leaves. Night for you already. Nice. I attended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. I managed to make my character kind of creepy, guys. Subject. I didn't mean to. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. <laughs> okay. That is really cool. Honestly, if... <laughs> if I could teach this class in real life and have it be all magical, that would be really fun. <laughs> now, we have like probably four minutes left on this. As well as so let's check our quest log and see what's got going on there and let's just waste a couple minutes so we need to go to potions class i kind of want to do these classes um first before we go off on um the quest with Nettie. so let's do that and let's check out our map real quick and see what we got going on there Because we have some side quests that are popping up. Duncan Hobhouse seems to have a puffskin problem. I wonder if I can help him out. We're gonna get something that says in appearances. And this one is Nellie Augspire in the Transfiguration Courtyard. Is in the Trigger's Transfiguration Courtyard and seems delayed about something. I didn't say what it'll give us, but there's two quests on, on that one. And what's here? We have the hospital wing. We can unlock that point of travel. And cross wands round three, which we do need to do. And spell combination practice two. Okay. <clears throat> so we can definitely do all of those things. But let's do the class first. And we're gonna keep um, potions class tracked. And it's literally just going to be over at that teleport point. Let's see how much time we have left on our little plant, because I'd like to harvest it before we go. 
We still have four and a half minutes. <laughs> Literally one minute past while we were doing that. Um, so tell me, guys, um, how many of you all are currently playing? And if you're currently playing, what house did you get? And if you're not currently playing, what house are you going to choose? I've seen a lot of people choose Hufflepuff because you get to go to um, Azkaban, apparently. But I've seen a lot of other people choose Slytherin because apparently Slytherin's really popular because they have the dark arts thing going on um, in this game where you can actually cast the dark arts. Sorry, we're just staring at this pot for three minutes, guys. But it seems wise to go ahead and gather it and replant another before we head on our way. Hmm. While well, we're waiting on it, we might as well look around here a bit more. And let's go see what all we have in here. Here's a paper. Ooh. Dear Professor Garlic, how very uh, thoughtful of you, and to remember that strawberries are my favorite. They're as sweet as can be, and it's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn the skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you, as do all of you students, I'm sure. Warmest regards, as always. Eleanor Everly. Okay, we're snooping. I'm pretty sure we have like two minutes left on our potted plant. We do. Let's uh look around while we're here. We can't get in, oh, we can get in here. I thought it was locked. Was it just locked earlier? Rithenia. Okay. Treasure chest. <laughs> We got some gold. I'll definitely take it. And that's right back to the same room we're in. Rebellion. So nothing else in here. Our plant's almost done though, so that's good. Off on another adventure, are we? Yes, and this one's locked. This one's not. Okay. I believe we were in this room earlier, though, for the cabbages. But I hear something dinging. So that door is locked, and there's gatherables out behind it. The door down here is locked. So we can't get to those. Okay. I think that's as much as we can see around here, because the other doors are locked. And then this will loop us back over to the classroom, I believe. The long way around. At least it should. And we're back to our potted plant. With 35 seconds left. Well, that's good. We would miss, we would miss the treasure chest, anyways. We got a lot of stuff um, just by coming here and gathering, so don't be afraid to gather while you're here. So we have Arthur's map, and we have various letters, and here's our stack of herbs and stuff. So we've got a few things from gathering, and that's just from stumbling upon them in the intro. I'm honestly excited. There's so much we're going to be able to do today in game. And flying for the first time seems exciting. Come on, plant. Grow faster. My house plants are probably really confused. <laughs> There we go. We got another one. Oh, it's already growing again. Interesting. Ah. 
Look at the rain cloud. It's got its own personal rain cloud. Okay, that's awesome. Off to potions class we go now. And we are just gonna teleport straight there and we're gonna be mega efficient. Because we teleported. <laughs> Nice to see you, my young friend. Okay. It wants us to go down. Look, it's a Niffler. I like the random Niffler pictures. I should get a stuffed animal Niffler. It took us to this door and then down this way. That was weird. Okay. We're almost there, it's just taking us a weird way. Well, that music that was starting up was beautiful. I guess I went by whatever was playing it, and it stopped. That's unfortunate. Revenia. There we go, a field guide page. Statue of Gregory the Smarmy. The statue with an um, integrating grin depicts the medieval wizard Gregory the Swarmy, the wizard famous for inventing Gregory's unctuous unction, a potion that makes the drinker believe whoever gave them the potion is their best friend. Oh, Interesting. I wonder what the... Um, Someone from the ministry guarding the school after the incident in Hogsmeade. Ooh, they're talking. Professor Black would never allow that. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Interesting. I wonder what the purpose behind the creation of that potion was. Revelio. Potions class, guys. I saw an aura cloud on There's a treasure chest into the left. I bet he knows more than he's letting on about the copy of Rebellion. Let's grab that real quick and let's read this letter on the desk because we're going to snoop. Good old Thieven. Memorandum. Date, December 31st, 1875, from the Auror Office. Subject, Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks um, has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Aurors to join those that have already been watching the shop. You're amongst the new additions. Further instructions follow. Interesting. Well, we got the treasure chest. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, begin potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and Hey, Redonia Crossing, how are you doing? Good to see you. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Let me guess, it's yes, healing. Sharp, the Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Okay. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a wig and weld potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. Okay. We're going to brew a potion, guys. Oh, you guys guys passed the 20 light goal. Thank you so much. Y'all are amazing. Use a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Okay, so we swirl Please the right stick. Please be when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. A pinch of dittany. Add a hork clump juice. Add hork clump juice. And stir. Okay. Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy is great, uh, Bredonia. It's absolutely wonderful. I'm loving it. <laughs> I see most of you have not forgotten how to Gonna stir. try to get our broom today. And um, the room of requirements, I'm hoping I unlock it. I'm not you sure if I've done what I need in the storyline yet, though. Well done. 
And from what I hear of your recent you exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Okay. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. Okay. So we need to go to his office and pick up the My ingredients. My considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, Ooh, my friend, very have been nice. I hope you like it. I think you will. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Aww. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll sized brain can brew an Adurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single fooper feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Hmm, a fooper feather. I feel like we're gonna get in trouble. Let's say I'm not sure that's a good idea, right? Let's see what he says. I don't know, Gareth. I don't want to get on Sharp's bad side. You won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Sharp won't even miss it. Okay, let's... Very well. I'll bring you a Fooper feather. Brilliant! Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. Kind of wish I knew what he's brewing. I feel like we're about to get in trouble. Keep your potions Mongrel fur. One fooper feather. Revenia. And the eggs. Yeah, it's it's been a blast so far. It's a really fun game. There's something out there. Your potion should not be that color, Miss McDowell. I definitely saw something out here. Oh, we found a coin. Literally a coin. Here's the fooper feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adurus potion. I bet you he's a you prankster. And I bet finished. you he's a prankster, guys. Okay, let's um Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience. Let's brew our potion. There's a wig and well. There's the Amadurus defense potion. So I suppose we select it. We put the ingredients in. And it's just automatically brewing. We don't have to do anything. Okay. It says it's got 20 something seconds left. I wonder if we have to do anything. I guess it's just going to do it itself. Maybe the first time was just for show. It's brewed, so now, now we'll pick it up. Okay, that's good. And now we add the So we brewed our potion. That's odd. What's happening? Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor. Adurus potion at the potion Again, station. Mr. Weasley huh. did not do this on his own. I thought own. I did brew it. His accomplice will answer to me as well. Okay, so I had to wait for that cutscene first. So that was a little bit weird. It's all good. Um, let's see what these other people have to say. My Weasley potion's utter rubbish. 
Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. Aww. Professor Sharp said that Wiganweld potion can treat injuries. Hope I never need it. Okay, so that counts for our potion. Let's talk to him. I brewed an Edgerous potion, as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. <laughs> I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. Good, As good. As for the work you did, did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced back, nature Billy. of this Welcome class back. and the fact glad you're a you. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Okay. <clears throat> I think so. each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. That's completed. I'm hoping it'll pop up and tell us to go to the room of requirement because I don't know when it's going to tell us to do that. Um, or if I'm just supposed to know and go. Um, but let's see our next... Um, so, Professor Hackett's assignment two. That is cast incendio and we need to dodge by rolling. So I guess what we should do is we should go on and maybe go ahead and do um, Natty's quest. So let's go ahead and do that. And we need to pick up some side quests around from the map as well. Yes, he reminds me of Professor Snape in a good way. I have not got my broom yet, Billy. We've not done enough in the main story quest. But the quest we're about to do is part of that. So let's check the map real quick before we run off, because we're going to go meet Natty. Because um, you have to progress more in the main story to get the broom. So it's probably going to be a while till we get the broom. So over here, we can grab these two quests, but that's uh, we can maybe grab those when we get back from Natty's quest. And over here, we can grab a waypoint and a quest for um, two quests from Lucian. Or sorry, Lucan, I say his name wrong. Um, we m maybe should go do those because it's dueling and it's the final round. Um, so let's go ahead and do these and then let's go meet with Natty. We'll probably, um, we're going to travel to there and we'll get those out of the way real quick. So we have those off of that side of the map and then we can progress uh, some with Natty's quest, which is our main quest. So let's go ahead and do these real quick. Final round of crossed ones. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of crossed ones ready? Big match today. It all okay, comes guys. down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Let's see how this goes. Are you for a shot at glory? Absolutely. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Let's go in Sebastian today. Yes, Sebastian. Then let's get started. Okay. We can make this a real victory. That's the spirit. Okay, championship round. Let's see if we can do this. Break through red shields with damage spells like fire and Sidio. Target lock R3. Okay. Here we go, guys. Okay. We're doing okay. Leviosa triangle. We're doing okay. Triangle. <laughs> oh goodness. Mm -hmm. 
goes my wager. Okay. And who's still up? Triangle. Triangle. Oh goodness. Ooh, triangle again. Okay. That wasn't too bad. Ooh, other whopper. Nice. What's up? Yay! We won! Hey, Maddie! How are you doing? Welcome aboard to the stream! Good to have you here! I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion! <clears throat> now, to the victor goes the prize! Ooh, what do we get? And what do so we get? It is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment! Thank you. It's been an honor. Aww. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them oh, in no. ages. Oh <laughs> no. Okay. So we have one more quest here. We got a cross wands champion garb. We have one more quest with him we need to do real quick, and then let's go do Natty's quest. Hello, Lucan. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Okay. Ready? We are ready. That would be brilliant. Wonderful. Let's cross I'll our fingers. <laughs> Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. Okay. Let's give it a go. Okay. What do I want next? Castle um, okay. Leviosa, basic, 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 Accio. Oh, I missed Accio. Shoot. Um, okay. Oh, I missed that, apparently right at the beginning. Leviosa, basic, 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 Accio. I'm not hitting the Accio in time. Okay. Next time, perhaps. Leviosa basic, 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 Accio, Incendio. There we go. My timing was a bit off. Okay. Accio, basic, Incendio, basic, 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 Leviosa, basic, 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 Accio, Accio, no! Okay, we gotta start going over. Oops. It's on cooldown. Basic. Incendio. Basic. 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 Accio. Incendio. Incendio. No. <laughs> it's on cooldown. I know, right? It's all good. He's coming for me. Okay, here we go. Accio. Basic. Incendio. Basic, 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 Leviosa, basic, 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 Accio, Incendio, basic, 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 basic. There we go. <laughs> Woo! Impressive wand work. I take to face. If you cast you your basics too fast, your incendio won't be off of cooldown in the middle. So don't cast your basics too fast when you're doing that quest, and you'll be fine. Thanks, Lucan. Ooh. You've been a great help. I'll stop. Don't make me blush. Seriously, well done. <laughs> we made it, guys. We training did it. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. Even we taught that training dummy already. a lesson. I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, we completed that. And that's good. And um, let's check out that new piece of uh, gear we got. And off to um, Nettie's quest. So we got a new cloak or robe. 
Oh, that actually looks kind of nice, but I don't think we're going to um, wear it cosmetically. It does have 24 offense. And this has 25, so we'll keep that one equipped and we have it cosmetically hidden. Let's check out the hat situation. This is not as good, but let's see what it looks like. It's ugly. <laughs> okay, let's see what was our highest one. So that's 19, 15, 21. We're going to go with the 21 and we're going to leave it hidden. There we go. We should have our best stuff on. And we got the um, one cool wood wand handle that looks like our wand. We have 1,500 money, and we have some gear we need to sell when we go to the town. So definitely need to do that, and that's locked. So let's go ahead and pull up our lovely quest and put it back on being tracked. We're going to select here. Ooh, that's not where it is. We'll go and do it this way. Okay, and locate a map. So we're going to be going south. I desperately need to sell the stuff that's in my inventory, though. So let's go to Hogsmeade first, and then we'll go there. And we can just teleport real quick and sell our stuff. And I don't think we're allowed to buy anything there yet. So I am going to travel there because we're right next to Oleanders, and we can sell our stuff there. Olivanders. Sorry, I said it wrong. Not where I got Oleanders at. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Okay. Now. I'm curious, because this was locked the last time we were here. I'm curious if it's still locked. Because we have money. I'm pretty sure it's still locked. <laughs> still locked. That's okay. We will instead... Oh, definitely. Hey, I'm Hedgy. How are you doing? It's a fun game. I'm loving it. We're going to go across the street to Ollivander's. Hello, I need to sell... Where's he at? He's not talking to me. Well, shoot. How do I get him to buy stuff from me if he's not talking? I guess he's really busy. Okay, let's go up to one of the other shops. I just want to make sure we don't have our inventory full when we go on Nettie's quest. <clears throat> let's just run over real quick, I guess, to J. Pippin's potions. And we'll sell there. Should be a quick run. I just heard someone snoring. Who's snoring in game? Oh, Mr. Pippins. I need you to buy this excess clothing off of me. Hello there. Yes, In there the we go. Potions, are we? Not so much for potions at the moment, but I mean, I should probably maybe buy the potions eventually to where I can make them. So anything that's a down arrow, we're going to sell because we can cosmetically make our stuff look like any of this now that we've owned it once. So we don't have to keep holding on to it. So we're just going to literally sell all of this. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished. Except for maybe one of the legendary ones, depending. Because we know we have our best statted items equipped since these are all red down arrows. So we might as well have money, yeah? And inventory space. 14. That's five. That's a really early legendary. So we're going to sell it because we can make our stuff look like that anytime we want to. Yep. And this one, honestly, we're going to go ahead and sell it because we make our stuff look like it anytime we want to. That takes up to 2,900 money. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. And that way, our stuff, um, our inventory won't be full when we're looting chest. Now, off we go into the world map to go over to Nettie. And Nettie is way down here. So let's go to, I guess, uh, where is the easiest way? Wow, that's like all over the place. Let me just only track her quest. And we're gonna track it and do the locate a map. So.
Unset the waypoint. Hogwarts map. I think our easiest way out is here, tracking the exit, which will be to teleport here to the north exit. So let's go find Nettie. I wonder if there's something we need to be doing to unlock our broom. <laughs> like if there's a side quest we should do before Hand we run off. Indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Because it seems like this is going to be a very long run. <laughs> you know? Um, meet Nettie on I and Laura, Ho Laura Hogsfield. Well... Here's where we are. It looks like maybe this is the opposite exit of what we needed. Let's pull world map. Yeah, this is more of the exit we need. So let's go back into Hogwart map. I guess if we go at the right exit, it's not that bad. Hogwarts map. We're here. I feel like things are turned around. Let's go here. Hey Paige, how are you doing? Good to see you today. We're doing main story quest and trying to get to where we have... Okay, this is far closer. <laughs> trying to get to where we have the broom unlocked. Uh, we don't have it yet. Um, but we're doing all kinds of fun stuff. Yes, uh, Full of Aura. Very much a wonderful, wonderful game. I've been having a blast with it. Um, let's go ahead and Rebellio to see if there's anything we can gather out here. I don't see anything yet. I do see a, a question mark notation on the map wonder what it is maybe it's because of this house Ooh, there's a chest behind it though or in it are you are you guys playing oh stressed nintendo direct Ooh, i did not watch nintendo direct because i'm streaming <laughs> which seems like an interesting choice on my part no wonder we haven't had many people here everyone's watching the direct i was wondering why it's so quiet oh that's bright but it makes more sense now. Because no one's going to show up during the direct. Um, something interesting happened during the direct? What is this? Huh. I wonder, I wonder what's up with this headstone. All good. This looks intriguing. But yeah, I just plan on watching the direct after this very long stream of mine. Shock games and updates. It was just okay. I'm assuming they said nothing for Animal Crossing, right? Although I would then, love them to. I don't trust them to do anything nice for us. What's this over here? Leech juice. Disgusting. Those are the only leeches on the shore, but I guess we might as well gather. We should probably grab these quests as we see them. Because I wonder what this guy in the middle of nowhere wants. You for some or a lady? Grace. This, uh, Grace lady. Hello. Can I help you? A oh, small part for Disney Journey Valley. No yes. Pokemon. No Animal My Crossing. My name is Grace Pinch Aww. Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. Aww. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid. Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Aww. 
You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know of your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. Oh, interesting. It sounds like it was a um, relatively uh, let down Nintendo Direct. Sorry to hear that, guys. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. Oh, well. it's mainly <gasps> used for studying the stars. I know it sounded familiar. Pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond it's repair It's such a good now. game, Billy. It really is. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents Ooh, back. Ooh, definitely, Hedgy. Whatever you get to play it on sounds, sounds good by me. Dangerous, as long as you get to play the game. Especially if something of mere sentimental value. I understand. Mm. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. I don't know what a furlong is. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. Well? I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. Find the astrolabe. The astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Northeast of the dock. Just northeast of the dock. Let's give it a try. Um, I haven't gone swimming before in game. I guess it's gonna teach us how. Doesn't feel like there's any buttons you press. You just kind of go for it. There's north and west. There's east. I'm assuming it's that marker over here. Love how we just go full close into the lake. It's not telling me if there's anything to go up or down in the water, so I'm assuming we're going to get to this point. It's going to kind of tell us what to do. Oh, yeah, definitely. I wouldn't want to wait till summer either. Um, the sooner you can play it, honestly, the better in my book, because it's such a fun game. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Here we go. We're going to search. Secret Solvner's Nightwear. Okay. It looks like there's multiple glow spots out here, I guess. Thank goodness we emptied our inventory. Silver Wooden Spectacles. Maybe this will be them. Third try is the charm, right? Opulent spiderweb hat. There's another glow spot. And another. Hopefully you get a good deal on whatever you get. But honestly, just having the console to be able to play what you want to play sounds good. I'm a PS5 type person, a PC person. Um, a Bloodred Fedora. Wow, all kinds of clothes out here. Someone just dropped their whole wardrobe. Um, and I'm also a PC person. I built my own computer. I'm playing this game on PC right now with a PS5 controller. Uh, this is Astrolobe and a Wiganweld potion. So that's all of them. I should let Grace know that I found. Let's her go take the her um, Astrolabe back. Yes, third time is sometimes lucky. Three new games in 20 days. That's a lot to play. That'll be good, Billy. That'll be good. And thank you guys for hanging out for the stream. I know I decided to stream apparently right in the middle of the Nintendo Direct, but um, thank goodness y'all still showed up. <laughs> Maybe more people will get to showing up now that the Direct's over. We got 26 likes? That's really good. 
if someone wants to set the next like goal, so like if you say 35, 40 likes is the next goal or whatever, um, I'll pin your comment. Um, whoever wants their comment pinned, um, if anyone wants to do that, I'll set as another like goal. PS5 is good, Billy. So the reason I always lean towards PlayStation is Horizon is a um, like Horizon Zero Dawn, Horizon Forbidden West, all of that. Those are PlayStation exclusives, and they're really fun games. Hey, we're almost back to the coast. We apparently swim off to the side, kind of weird. But that's me personally, and also I've never been an Xbox controller type person. Grace, we got your astrolabe. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! 35. Nice. You Thank you, Paige. I will pin your comment. <clears throat> I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me and for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And you I know, do hope you keep I don't diving. know if Sims is you on the PS5. Have I haven't played Sims since the first generation when it came out many years ago. Let's see, I'm trying to pin this, but it's being uncooperative. Hang tight. There we go. Replace pin message. Light goal is 35, because Paige says it is, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get this back over where we were. And thank you guys so much. You all are amazing, especially for showing up apparently in the middle of a Nintendo Direct because I'm a butthead who scheduled my stream right in the middle of a Nintendo Direct. <laughs> there we go. And let's organize this here. Okay. I can now see all the things. <laughs> and we completed our quest. We got a whole bunch of stuff while we were down there, guys. So let's kind of look and see if any of them are better than ours, stat-wise. So this is locked um, because we have to be level 14. So is this. And we have that equipped, so we're wearing our best thing that we can. And then, in here, we got these. That's, uh, this was a 21. This is 23. This is 30... Wait, what? 36! We're gonna equip that, and we're gonna go back, and we're gonna make it look not like that. Holy shnikes! Now, we can, uh, make it look like anything we want to. <laughs> But most of these things look absolutely ridiculous. So we're going to go with no headwear. Yeah, um, we're going to go with no headwear. Um, but we're, we're at 36. That's a good, good upgrade. Let's check in here. That's 32, and that was 22. That's a great upgrade as well. So let's equip that, and we'll make it look like... Well, we're wearing PJs. That's cute, actually. We'll make it look like the clothes we were wearing, just to make it easier. And let's check out our last upgrade slot. Do we get something? I think that's it. But definitely very nice. We have some upgrades. Fascia. Okay. We completed the lost astrolabe. And just a heads up, I am playing this as a good Hufflepuff character, so we're not like manipulating people out of their money or learning the curses or anything like that. I know a lot of people are playing like dark characters. But I'm just kind of not doing that. Um, and maybe in the next playthrough, we'll do a dark playthrough. Hey, Robert. How are you doing? Good to see you. There's treasure chest over here. Demos? Oh, that's good that there's demos. I apparently chose to wade deep through the water. Looks like we got another quest out here. A basket? Ooh! Handle. A new handle. Hello. I never thought Ramrocks. Hi guys over there talking. I'm just like I'm looking at this handle. I don't very much like that one. Also, it looks uncomfortable. We'll kind of stick with our wood one or this one for now. I think we'll stick with wood. Doing good. Awesome. The common room is gorgeous. Yes, there's so much to discover. So much to discover. There's a guy over here that we can sell to. That's good, because we've got more gear. Let's talk to him. And then our quest marker is right over here. 
So let's just double check. Yeah, let's go ahead and do these quests before we talk to her and let's grab this teleportation point um, because I want to make sure we don't miss out on that because it would suck to run all the way down here and hoof it and not get the teleportation point. Oh, it's like right at her. Let's grab his quest first. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. Oh no. I've just lost my business and almost my life. Oh no. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. Aww. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Oh, no. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling. Though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Aww. I'm gonna keep an eye out for him. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly <coughs> keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. That's Still good. Know the chances may be. I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. Hopefully they'll come back to him. It was nice meeting you. Oh, nice, Edgy. You... Honestly, if I wasn't Hufflepuff, I'd be Ravenclaw. So I like to think of myself as Huffleclaw or Hufflepuff Ravenclaw, kind of in that order, you know? I bet his art is gorgeous. Sorry, guys, I'm sniffly, so if I sometimes have to randomly mute the mic today, that's kind of why. Because um, I'm still finishing getting over being sick. Let's get our teleport point real quick. After what Van Rock did to that goblin banker at there we go. I know she's I right there, but still. I thought I saw something. Oh, we can skip rocks. That's cute. That's really cute. Okay. So carted away. He mentioned his carts were stolen. Before we go running off and doing that, let's uh, check out these chests because I definitely see them. That's locked. We can interact with his axe. Oh, hello. We can go in here. There's some things in here for sure. We're just like looting. Okay. Out here stealing stuff, guys. Bavelio. There's a bag right there. There we go. Honestly, a lot of the fun for me is exploring and finding things. Well, the livestock. They're so cute. That? I don't know how to get to. I can hardly wait till we have animals. It's gonna be fun. Okay, we can climb. We searched that already. Okay. So I think we should go, ooh, another wand handle. I think we should go help the guy, yeah? So let's go do that and then let's talk to Nettie. Um, but before we do that, let's save real quick because I want to make sure and save every once in a while just to be safe, yeah? There we go. <clears throat> I know it says six hours, but we played six hours the other day and multiple hours today, so I'm not sure why it just says six hours, but it's all good. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. Ooh, nice. 
Also, thank you guys. You guys up to 26 likes. Any whispers going about the town? You may have noticed we have a bit of a rivalry with Upper Hogsfield. Not much to it, but we're still the better of the two Hogsfields. <laughs> better than most other places, too. Nice. Can you tell me a bit about yourself? Oh, let's see. Well, I am Lord Hogsfield's preeminent potioneer. Ooh, a potioneer. I was once a lowly Hogwarts student like you. In fact, I'll give you the Hogwarts discount. It's the standard price. <laughs> My price is a load of all, but easy. That's great. I'm assuming he sells potions. What do you have for sale? I sell only potions and their ingredients. If you can't fix it with a potion... Me too, Falavara. Broken, Me say, too. <laughs> My ingredients are all local nice. to this area, and my potions are brewed to keep you healthy and safe. Claw Huffle, that's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, I think most people are a combination of what two houses, you, you know? What can I, I mostly want to sell him my stuff, but I do kind of want to see. He has Wig and Welds, Maximas, and Endurus, Endurus, which are expensive, all expensive. And um, since we're wearing our most upgraded gear, all these will be red, we can just sell those. Because uh, since no we've owned them, we've this. unlocked the Thank cosmetic you. ability for them, yeah? Now, the ones that we can't equip yet because they're higher level than us, we will not sell. So, this is still down even though it's a level 14 requirement. And that'll be fine. We'll hold on to that. We're going to have a decent amount of money sometime. doing it that way. I think we'll be better off. It still says there's a chest this way. Pavilion. I think it's in the locked room. Yep, that's in the locked room that we cannot get to yet. So let's go ahead on and help Mr. Um, goblin Friend, the painter, our Goblin Painter friend. And then let's help Natty. Um, I think our only real way is, wait, that's all the way up there? Wait, all the way down here. Maybe we should talk to Natty first because we're up here and we're running all the way down here. So let's talk to Natty first, because that's a long run, and we may end up going this way first. Update collection. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, spiders. Let's fight. Okay. Okay. There's a victory that came none too soon. <gasps> I think we gathered those. Now we do need to use uh, rolling to dodge to complete our quest, so we should uh, do a whole bunch of extra dodging. Um. So I just need to remember to dodge because we have that quest um, from one of the professors where they want us to use the fire spell and dodging. And then he needs to dodge like 10 times, which is mildly ridiculous, but that's what they want us to do, so we'll do it. <clears throat> oh yeah, spiders. Like I don't like them. It really is, look at how beautiful that is. Absolutely stunning. Okay, uh, Nettie, it's what's good up? good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. how are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well. But I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? Yeah, I'm that's a thing. Moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Ah, uh, yeah. They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A port key brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I'm still learning. But I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now. It is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us, to all of us, which is why I wanted to speak to you. Yeah, they're definitely I a threat. I something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. 
and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. Aww. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. I'm glad to hear it. Good. Rookwood and Harlow, the fact that they're working with Vanrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations, taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Okay. Okay, so Be we want to take God. down a... Huh. Okay, let's, um... Check our situation here on where these are located relative to us and see what we're doing first. Okay. Cart it away. Ooh. I don't want to abandon that one. What's going on here? Okay, woman needs help just across the water beyond the dock. Help the stranger. Let's go help the stranger. If you okay. Wares, I'm afraid I still don't have my heart. So we'll do this and then we'll help our painter goblin friend. They must have come this way. Think! I've no idea who it is you think I might have seen. I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi! Speak of the devil. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. A student! You can't be sick. <laughs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Stupefy! Oh, hello. I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. The collection section of your field guide has been updated to a new enemy type. Okay. You will pay for your deed. We got a lovely view of the grass with that one. Oh, triangle. Someone's still alive. Okay. I think we're getting the hang of it. I think we're getting the hang of it. We managed not to get What's hit. What's just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. And so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, that's weird. Let's uh, speak with her. Uh, are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Okay. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seem mm. quite keen on you. It's Interesting. a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me. Hey, key to my heart. Dangerous. How are you doing? Best Welcome to the stream. My research before they return. Glad to see you here today. You mentioned someone named Priya. Yes, my wife. She's oh. the one who piqued my interest in Merlin, gave me a book when we were students at Hogwarts. Typical hard-working Hufflepuff, brilliant <clears throat> potioner, has her own shop in Nocturne Alley. She's a traveling vendor, hears what's going on in the Highlands before I do. Very 
very cool. You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Ooh, very nice. Merlin? Of the legend of King Arthur? The very same. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. Huh. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. Ooh. I believe he created them as a diversion okay. for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Okay. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the Trials. Well then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials what Mallow to Sweet work. Is. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Oh. Merlin repeatedly okay. mentioned it in his writing. Definitely interesting, Paige. I Definitely. I just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. You see, each swirl in Merlin's writing has its symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Sounds good to me. I brought a trunk chock full of Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Okay. Revelio. And there's a symbol. Good to know. This trunk. Yes, take plenty, even if you already have some. Thank you. I have the mellow sweet. <clears throat> Lovely. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here, as well as a stone swell on the ground. Each trial has these features. The Place vines the here. Sweet on the swell, and we'll see what happens. Okay. We're using the mellow sweet, guys. That the vines disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. I Let's try fire. About these incendiaries. Hmm. Incendio. Lumos. Let me open. About the vines. So, these swirls. There's swirls Conjuring up here too. Fire might work. These are pyres. Well, I tried all. fire. We'll try again. Incendio. I guess I just need to be closer. Okay. Sink. It is really cool. Okay. So it does want fire. So first instinct was right. You just need to go closer to it, apparently. Okay. That's Curious. interesting. The pyres are back where they started. Back where they started. Interesting. There's one. Two. Incendio. Ah. Okay. Clearly, all three of these pyres are meant to be lit. Wait, I thought I got them all. Okay. Let's try that again. Incendio. Have to be closer. I gotta get better at aiming like this. There's one. There's two. There's three. Is there another? Just those three. Okay. So basically, I gotta get good at aiming. <laughs> oh, wow. What a day. I can hardly believe it. Rebellion. Okay. Ooh, let's gather these real quick and then talk to her. Hello, 
Eleonora. We solved it. We can call that it is very cool. We can indeed. However, I now have even more <clears throat> questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Hmm? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. Very my guess nice. is that each will also require mallow suit, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Okay, so we can get more Mallow Sweet and Hogsmeade. And careful out here. So we should no, probably always keep Mallow Sweet on us, but that was really cool. Notes and books. Okay, Trials of Merlin. Good to know. Oh, hello. Magic's always so cool. And they offer varying rewards. Good to know. Let's go ahead and um, track our quest for helping our goblin artist friend. And we'll be going, ooh, my map froze. Uh-oh. Hang tight, guys. Everything froze. Can you guys still see the stream? Let me fix this real quick, because I can't see anything. Let me know if you can still see the stream in chat, okay, guys? Uh-oh. You can see it? Okay. Streamlabs entirely has crashed. <laughs> I'm kind of nervous that the stream's just going to crash, guys. Also, I can see the chat. I can see the game. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I've never had Streamlabs do this before. Let me see if I bring Streamlabs up again. Ooh. Good to see y'all. Well, that's nerve-wracking. <laughs> it says Elgato no signal. Uh-oh. Okay, guys. I'm going to try to bring Streamlabs back up. It's possible the stream may fully disconnect. I hope it doesn't. If it fully disconnects, I'm going to post the link again for the stream, which would be a whole brand new stream, but I'm hoping it doesn't. I'm going to try, though, okay, guys? Because it looks like Streamlabs completely crashed. Yeah. Big uh-oh. Now, we're still streaming directly through YouTube. I'm just going to try to run a second instance of Streamlabs and see if it'll fix it. Because we may have a problem. I know, right, guys? I've never had Streamlabs crash like that before. So if it disconnects, I'll post a new stream link in just a couple minutes. But stay in the chat and hopefully it won't disconnect. I'm hoping we're still in here. Hang tight, guys. I know, right? 